Okay, so today we get 100 overall Magic Johnson in these Bracket Buster packs. And there is one question that you have to ask. Are these packs worth opening? I got three good reasons why you should open these packs and one crazy major reason why these packs are not worth your time. First things first, though, we got to start out in these tweets because I thought this was very funny. We got the Groundhog's Day gift coming from All City Big Heck. March Madness is the correct. No, madness is the correct word for all this. And OK, HTB came out with the appropriate response. Man, this would have been awesome if the community could buy those fun opals like Miller and Holmgren on the player market. I was running a game on you. I wanted to get the money. Oh, and I probably forgot to say it, so I'm just going to throw this somewhere in the video randomly. Chet Holmgren is the best card in this pack drop by far. Do with that what you will. Oh, and this Easter event is live now. It starts today. You earn an Easter egg and a golden egg event card in exchange in for prizes, just like the just like the Christmas time thing. So, yeah, go get to that. It ends Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Okay, and the first reason why you should even consider opening any of these packs for these bracket busters is because if you add up all of this MT right here, it will cost you 336,000 of them fangs to even get a shot at one random bracket buster, Galaxy Opal, Dark Matter, or 100 overall, Magic La Johnson. Scary hours if you ask me. I mean, because if we come over here to the Bracket Buster packs, we can see that 399,000 of them MT fangs will get you a 20-pack box with 20 chances at pulling La Magic, La Johnson, or Camelo, La Anthony. You know what I'm saying? So, come on. Do the math. You get 20 packs versus paying 336,000 of them MT fangs for one chance at a rando it doesn't make sense make it make sense it doesn't make sense to me and on the on the vc side of things that math comes out to two hundred and five thousand of them vc things now make it make sense where i could collect two hundred thousand of them things and come over here and get a 20 pack box for less than 200k vc it just doesn't make sense. The math is not mathing. Maybe I did the math wrong, but my calculator does not miss. So come on. That is the first reason why you would want to open these boxes. These 20 pack boxes is 20 packs, 20 chances to pull Magic La Johnson, Adam La Morrison, or Camelo La Anthony. I mean, of course, we do want that ham, that, that, that Chet, matter of fact, the Chet Holmgren. We want that Tyler Hansbrough or that Chet Holmgren. I mean, some of y'all might want Shane Battier, but personally, that would be the first reason why I would come over here and pull these 20 packs or just packs in general. Now, let's go ahead and dive into a 10 pack box while I tell you guys my second reason on why you would want to pull these packs. Cha-ching. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. OK, the second reason why you would want to pull these packs is because Magic Johnson is going to be a game changer. You heard me. I said it with no shake in the first in the first one. Magic Johnson will change the game with 99 in every category except for rebounding and every badge. He's available to hold every badge in the game, bro. You can't beat that. You just can't. He's going to be a game changer. Definitely. I mean, Carmelo is going to change the game, too. And if you can get your hands on Adam Morrison, you're definitely doing big things. But the second reason why you would really want to pull these packs is because you have a shot at that 99 overall, that 100 overall. And the other 99 overall, Adam Morrison. They, these cards are going to change the game. If you can get your hands, I'm not going to lie to you. Look, even if you pull Chet Holmgren, he's going to change the game at your center spot. Bro is too big. I mean, he's just too lanky. He's the long arm of the law, kind of like, uh-oh, as we get a shaker. He's kind of the long arm. It's a pink diamond shaker. He's kind of the long arm of the law, just like Wimby. He's really tall at the center spot. He can play power forward. And Chet Holmgren is just, he's a, he's a cheat code. Excuse me. He's a cheat code. As we pull Ralph LaFrance, eh, eh, I'll take it. At least we're one step close, closer to locking in. But uh, 
Let's just call it what it is. Chet Holmgren's a cheat code. If I can get my hands on Carmelo Anthony or Chet Holmgren or Adam Morrison, and definitely, of course, we want Magic Johnson. But, I mean, any one of those cards is really going to change the game at this point. We're not really worried about the pink diamonds at this point, but we do need them in order to lock in. So we're, I'm definitely trying to lock in. So Steve Blake is going to be a good pickup for right now. I'm not mad at it. If I can get all of these off this 10 pack box, all of these pink diamonds, so I can lock in the Galaxy Opal Plus, that's a guaranteed either a Ope or, you know, magic. Okay, and we just pulled a diamond out of here. That's how this works, 2K? Let me know something, because I'm missing the math at this point. The math ain't mathing. I didn't know that we could get Diamond Therese Halliburton out of here, but I guess it's not a deluxe pack. So, and that's the thing that I really, I kind of don't like that about these, these packs. They're not deluxe. They don't specify that they're deluxe. They just say that they're packs. And then you have base packs that specify that they're base, but these don't, it's just not adding up for me as we pull a Damian Lillard, which uh, mid 2K, I mean, can you say mid pack nine? We pull a, okay, Anthony Simmons. And pack 10, can we get a shaky, baby? Shaky, shaky, breaky, breaky. Nope. Ain't no way. Kyle Lori, big booty head, that boy. All right, so, I mean, okay, look. We got something that we can trade up for, though. We can add to the exchange in order to get Nebula still. We're adding for Nebula packs? Is that what we're doing, 2K? Hold on, 2K is glitched. Why? Uh, They won't take this away from me. I'm glitched, bro. Is that what y'all telling me? 2K, you see this right here. Like, I'm not trying to, I guess, just sell it. Okay, whatever. They wouldn't let me add it to the... Are those packs still there on purpose? I don't think those should be there. I think those should be bracket busters by now. 2K, you might want to look into that. I don't know what just happened, and I hope I don't get penalized for the hiccup. So I just want to document that just in case. All right, now I'm going to give you our, my third and final reason why you should go ahead and pull these packs while I open up another 10-pack box. But this time, we're going to use our little VC that we stacked up. So we went ahead and we got some VC out of my career. And it, I mean, it helps. It helps. I'm not going to lie to you. As we get no shake in the first pack. All right, my third reason for, for buying these packs is because you can't get these cards anywhere else. They're not on the player market. They're not, I don't believe they're going to be on the player market anytime soon either. I mean, it's not like we have an auction house or an open market system where we can set the price for these players and then come and get them at our discretion when we figure out which cards are viable, which cards actually make sense on our teams. It's no way for us to test these players out, but ultimately this is the only way that you're going to get to these cards. So I mean, at the end of the day, if you want 100 overall Magic Johnson or Carmelo Anthony or Adam Morrison, if you even want those cards, you got to come over here and pull them as we get a shaker in pack four. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's pink. Uh, I mean, at least it's, let's, let's hope it's a new pink. Let's hope it's a new level pink and we can get. Let's. Uh, okay. Joaquin Noah. Joaquin Noah. Joaquin. Let's go. And he has a dy dynamic, duo, dynamic duo goal, too. So we're going to see what those are about. Grab 12 off offensive rebounds by using Noah. Okay. I mean, I guess that's doable. Uh, not that I want to put him on my team or anything. But um, let's just be, let's be realistic. This is the only way that they gave us to get these cards this year. And so, I mean, if you want these cards, then you have to pull these packs. I do want Chet Holmgren. I need a taller, lankier Five, so I'm going all out. You see, I just got no shake on pack six and Tyrese Maxey. Uh, nobody, nobody asked for that guy. We already have a Maxey that we don't use. Bruh, bruh. Tory Craig. Who is Tory Craig? I don't even know this man. I have never seen this man a day in my life, 2K. Shantae Portier. Come on, Portier. What are, who are you? Go home. Go home, Portier. You're drunk. Jamal Murray. Okay. And a diamond. Great. Just perfect. It's, I mean, that's just the perfect way to sum up how I'm feeling about 2K. We go ahead and we get a diamond point guard on our last pack. Oh, and look who it is. 
Okay. Two chains. Two straps. Ja Morant. Go home, Ja. Man, this is crazy to me. I mean, so there you have it. Those are my three reasons why, I mean, pulling these packs are a, a viable thing for you, why you should go ahead and do that. But as we get into these agendas, we got six days to move these agendas. I'm going to let you know my, I got one gigantic reason why, why these packs should not be opened, why you should not open them, why you should not look at them or pay attention to them at all. And I'm going to give them to you right after we go through these. I'm just going to... Just going to skim through these these uh, agendas real quick for a Bracket Buster pack. Now, if you do all of these, you'll get a deluxe Bracket Buster pack. And what you have to do is score 40 second chance points over multiple games. Go ahead and get 20 dunks over multiple games. Go on a seven game win streak, seven games in a row. Win by 15, win three games by 15 points or more. Multiplayer points, score 50 points over multiple multiplayer games. Triple doubles, get one triple double with a player in a game. Steals and blocks. Get one steal and one block with a player in a game. Bracket Buster Spotlight. Now, you know what the spotlight is. I think I told you what the spotlight was last time. What you do is you come over here to single player challenges. You go to these spotlights right here. And then you got your Bracket Buster Spotlight. Boom. Now, in the first game, you're going to have to score 15 points. Win by 15. Not by 15, but beat the 3v3 team to 15. In the second one, you're going to have to beat the 3v3 team, I believe, to 60, maybe 21. I'm not sure. And in the third one, I believe you're going to have to beat Magic Johnson's Bracket Buster team, 5v5. And then you'll have some type of challenge to do. You'll get 3K MT for that. But at the end of everything, when you finish all three of those games, you'll get a Bracket Buster pack, unsellable. So, yeah, that's how you finish your agendas on that. But let's get into my one reason why opening these packs is a no-go. Let's open up, ironically, another 10 box with this last 200 MT that we got while I tell you why you should not open these packs. Now, we do know that Magic Johnson is in the pack and he's a, he's a game changer. Chet Holmgren's in there and he's a game changer. Carmelo, we do want Melo. We want Adam Morrison. So yeah, we do know that locking in for the set, for one, for one random card is not as viable as just opening up 10 packs. So we got that out the way. And then we do know that you're not going to get them any other way because they're not on the player market. They're not, there's no auction house. There's no way to get them without opening packs. So 2Ks cornered the market in that respect. But the reason why you should not open these packs is because... The good cards aren't in here anyway. Magic Johnson's not here. I mean, he's here, but he's only here for less than 2% of the community. Do you know what that means? That means you'll spend thousands before you see him. If you want to see Carmelo Anthony or Adam Morrison, you're going to have to spend a thousands of them things. Not VC, not MT. I'm talking about buying B BC, buying VC and MT with your real Munty, the greenbacks, them blue faces. Yes, sir. You're going to spend thousands of your monies before you see anything that will be game changing for you. Yeah, you might see an Opal. You might see something like that, but I doubt it. There's really no way for you to get these cards unless you're a well, unless you can spend thousands of them things. Now, for those of you that have thousands of them things, Go ahead, get to it, get to it, buddy. Get to pulling. I mean, if you can, uh, if you can spare some thousands and send over here to me, I'll take them. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll happily take some thousands so I can open up some of these packs. You know, because I gotta grind for everything that I open. So, if you're like me and you have to grind for everything that you open, luckily I'm a content creator, so I sit here and play this game every day anyway. I mean, I put in at least six hours on this game because I create content behind it. So, I mean, that that's that. That's the one reason why pulling these packs is really, really mute at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, I don't even want to exchange this for, oh no, I just exchanged everything. At this point, I really don't even want to exchange 
them boys because it just doesn't even make sense. It really doesn't. A Nebula pack? I don't even believe that Nebula pack is supposed to be there. I want this 42K instead of that Nebula pack. I'm not going to lie. And then they put him back in here again. I tried to add this to the exchange. Maybe it just didn't add. Maybe I already have two of those in there. I don't, I'm not sure. Let's go check. I want to be, I want to be sure. I get a floor. Uh, okay. I get a court floor option pack, a uniform option pack, get a coach option pack, get a playbook option. Okay. I added everything to the exchange. That's what I get. I mean, I, I can dig it. 2K. If that's what it is, I'm not sure. Let's go to the exchange though. Cause I want to, I want to make sure. No. Okay. I get it now. I see what's going on. These have expired. But they're still showing up here for some reason. So that's what was going on. I had to sell anyway. All right, but that's that. I don't know why those are still there, but it's it's not going to tick me off. I'm not going to trip about it. But hey, that's my video for today. We opened up a few packs. We tried to see what was going on on the market. I couldn't get anything budging. I got a couple. I got a couple of, you know, a couple of the cards that I wanted off the market. Three of them. So I can... I can uh I can ante up the the ante to get these two and then we're done. You know what I mean? We we can get our our and then we're going to go through and get these two because I got to get three more of these joints. I want this pack too. This Nebula Plus. I'm not worried about these Maestros. I wasn't really tripping. But I would go get to the Nebula Pluses if you do have the lock in for it. And then I would go get to I mean that's if you're grinding the VC or the MT to get the lock in. I wouldn't go out of my way. If not, it's not really going to make a difference. All the guard, all the best cards in the game are sleeper cards. You can get them from doing agendas. I'm not going to hold you. You can get one of the best cards in the game. Like people think that you need the best cards. You don't really need the best cards. LeBron will do. My lineup will do. I mean, if you come and look at this, the only cards in this lineup that I had to pull from packs. I believe Anthony Davis came from PAX, and I want to say Paul Gasol came from PAX. Definitely Paul Gasol came from PAX, but I grind. I was in grind mode for the rest of these. Oh, Bradley Bill, he came from PAX. But the rest of these cards are actually cards that you can get from just playing the game. They just made this, this mellow, this, this Lonzo, I'm sorry, Lonzo, this Lonzo Ball, I got bro from the pack market, like, like the, the free pack that they, not so free pack, but the pack that they had out here for like 75K VC. It's gone now, but it had the Dwight Howard in the same. Yeah, I mean, the promo packs, I mean, it's gone now. But I told you three videos in a row that Lonzo was worth it. So um, I don't know why you wouldn't want to be interested in going and getting at some of these, these grindable cards, but they're worth it. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I got a Nebula pack right here that I want to open. But I kind of been saving it for, like, down the line. So I think that's what we're just going to do. We're just going to save those for down the line. Right now, though, we can open this. I don't know where I got this from. Where did I get Where did I get him? Where did he come from? Bitty bum bum. All right, we out of here. Hope y'all had a good time. Have an even better time. You're boozing me nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.